Right to our top story tonight. It's uh, less than two weeks to the Iowa caucuses, and there's a flurry of activity as the candidates move into their final push toward what they hope will be a victory in the Hawkeye State. Right now, it's too close to call a clear winner for either party, and the same is true in New Hampshire, where a brand new Gallup poll released today shows Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama in a dead heat in the Granite State. Joining us now for the fastest two segments in politics, radio talk show hosts Michael Reagan and Stephanie Miller, and from the Washington Times, Tony Blankley. Welcome you all uh, to uh, Hannity and Combs. Uh, Michael Reagan, neither party, Republicans especially, don't have a candidate they like, and no candidate pulls them a 50 percent. <laughs> they have a real horse race in the Democratic yeah. Party. You can't even predict what's going to happen in either Iowa or New Hampshire, can you? And nobody can. I mean, this is the way it works. It always works like this, Alan. Nothing's, nothing's changed in all these years of politics. As you get closer to the date of the caucuses of the primary, everything gets very, very close. That's why you see Obama and Hillary neck and neck in New Hampshire. That's why you see what's going on in Iowa as we speak. Nobody's going to make up their minds really about Iowa till probably December 26th or maybe even December 27th after they get through the whole Christmas operation. Hey, I haven't even bought a present for my wife yet. I haven't decided on that. Hey, where's I'm my sure president, Michael? Nothing for, for me? Nothing for your well, favorite liberal? Come well, on. <laughs> hey, listen I, always, I, listen, I always call you Christmas Day. It, yeah, actually, you do, very often. People don't know that we speak. We shouldn't let Donor reveal that. Hey, Stephanie, uh, you know, it seems like, but the truth is, Democrats have a field of candidates they're more happy with, according to the polls, than Republicans are who don't like anybody that they got running. Yeah, uh, that's absolutely true. I, I, I don't know. You know, every day you pick up that Huckabee rock, Alan, there's something new and horrifying under it. Uh, so I don't know. Rudy <laughs> has plummeted. He has plummeted in the last yeah, few weeks. Little Huckabee it's rock. just that now yeah. they've picked up the Huckabee rock. And oh, Lord, what's the under rock, there? I think, Do is the what Huckabee. we call it. Right, let's uh, let's talk rock. about the latest on Mitt Romney. That's an ever-changing story, too, because now it oh, comes boy. out that in 1978, Tony Blankley, Mitt Romney, who yesterday we're talking about how he's talking about how his father uh, March with Martin Luther King. Today it turns out uh, he went a, a step further in 1978 in an interview with the Boston Herald talking about the Mormon church and racial discrimination. He said, my father and I marched with Martin Luther King through ah. the streets of Detroit. Uh, maybe he'll flip-flop on that. That'll change in about 10 minutes. But Tony, another another story yet from Tony Blankley inserting himself, I mean from uh, Mitt <laughs> Romney, inserting himself even further into the Martin Luther King story. Well, I mean, I don't know why he made that statement. He has had a trouble from the beginning of a question of inauthenticity. And because of his flips on issues so close to when he declared for the presidency. So this only feeds into uh, a lack of credibility. I think that's been his, his, but his danger zone all along. Other than that, I mean, what he says now is almost a perfect fit for the party. But an awful lot of people, Alan, including Alan, myself, yes, Michael. have some doubt about his yeah, sincerity. If I jump in. Michael. What a surprise. Politicians pandering during elections to certain groups of people. Oh, but changing. He marked the market. What is he oh, selling? Wait, 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 did he make a mistake? Yes, he made a mistake in saying what he said. But, you know, remember it was Bill Clinton who yeah. sat in the back of the well, bus after he heard the story about, right, about Michael, Rosa let's Parks. Let's make it about Excuse Bill Clinton me. again. He was four years it, it, old. It, it, let's go back to Clinton. Right. Let's move forward. We, we move forward. We ought, we ought to hold our candidates to a higher standard than Bill guys, Clinton. We move forward. The fastest two segments to make it that way. We move forward. Practicing dirty politics. Fox News opinion dynamics poll. And here's what the uh, respondent said. 22% say Clinton does it, 8% Obama, 6% Edwards, 32% none of them do it, Stephanie. Uh, so uh, more people think that most people don't play uh, dirty politics. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, can we just go back to Mitt for a second? Because everybody's saying they called him Flipper, Flipper. I can't believe Tancredo threw his support. He can't even keep the illegal immigrants off his front lawn, for God's sake. I mean, and come on, it depends on what the definition of saw is. I saw my father march with Martin Luther King. Wait, wait. I mean, we, we I'm need a to hunter. Give, oh, now it's just varmints we, we I need hunted. To give oh. We need to give credit where credit is due. Laura Ingram used the Flipper song for John in 2004. So, <laughs> come on. Yeah, and, 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 and
Whose campaign was it that tried to sell us Obama might have been a drug dealer at one point? It was Bob. It was Kelly. one guy yeah, who since resigned. One guy resigned. Twenty-two percent. Let's, 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 let's get to the let's get to the smarts of let's get to the smarts of the Hillary campaign since you mentioned it there. You may, may remember that Fox News poll a couple of days ago that showed more people thought Hillary Clinton was smart uh, than thought Bill Clinton was smart. Now apparently the Bill Clinton agrees with them. He said uh, today uh, the reason she ought to be president is that she's proven in every position she's ever had in life that she's a world-class genius in making positive changes in other people's lives. Like what, Stephanie? What? <laughs> I, I, well, they're both smart. I'm happy to have both of them back world in the White class House. Genius? That's fine. I'd happy you know, to have all that peace hey, and prosperity back. There's a crudeness hey, to Mark, their effort to Mark, sell what themselves. What about that homeless man? What about the homeless man in New York in 2000 asked her for a dollar when she was leaving the event and she walked away from him? Yeah. Or how about the waitress in St. Louis <laughs> that was stiff on the tip? She really helps other people, doesn't she? And yeah, she's smart. like the queen she mother in England, Charlie. Totally. She doesn't carry uh, cash. Hey, let's go to this uh, poll in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, Boston Herald, Boston Globe, they've endorsed uh, McCain, uh, union leader in New Hampshire. Valley News of Lebanon, New Hampshire's endorsed McCain. He's within seven points of Romney. Is he going to steal New Hampshire from Mitt Romney, Tony? Well, if, if he's going to win anywhere, it's going to be New Hampshire. If, uh, if Romney loses to Huckabee in Iowa, he'll lose momentum, and McCain may be able to slip by. Uh, I still have my doubts about that. I, my sense is that McCain's time has passed, but he's clearly having a resurgence, and if he's going to have one, it's New Hampshire. So, you know, give him about a 40% chance of winning New Hampshire. Let's, uh, let's go to this, uh, back to the Huckabee Rock, as Stephanie uh, put it. Uh, Michael, what do you think of this business, uh, Condi Slams Huck? Uh, Huck said that the Bush administration had an arrogant bunker mentality, and Condi thwacked him down on that. This guy's embarrassing on foreign policy, isn't he? Well, listen, listen. He was attacked in the last three days, and Coulter attacked him. Condi Rice attacked him on behalf of the President of the United States. And today, Rush Limbaugh hit him for three hours because his supporters decided to block Blog. Rush Limbaugh blogged me also. You can't mention Huckabee on your show without his supporters coming after you. And so for three hours, Rush went after him today. No, Huckabee's making some stupid mistakes. He's reading his own press stories, thinks he's bigger than he is, and going after people he should never have gone after. Ah, you're just part of that Wall well, Street Washington I access. We, 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 oh, more yeah. to come. More to come. I got the Two segments in politics, back with our panel in a minute. And then, a Baptist turning their backs on Huckabee now. Robert Novak will be here to explain what could be a potential problem for the rising GOP candidate. Plus